Hey, what is up, guys? This is me, Charm HD, and I'm here with my first Let's Play, The Binding of Isaac. So let's get it started. Gonna have to start with the default player, Isaac, because the other three players are locked. Decent stats: three health, two speed, two attack, and no item yet. Okay. Slow start already. Okay. First things first, guys. Movement. Basic controls. W A S D is to move. Your attack. Your tears. Arrow keys. Arrow keys. And shift or the E key to drop a bomb. But I'm going to save that until I need it. And space for an item which I do not have right now. First spawn, got a body list zombies and two old flies. V big key of this game is to a uh, lot of uh, movement. Watch your movement, get lucky a lot of times too, I guess. Look at that, I'm going very slow right now. Need to fix that. That's damage I should not have taken. Okay, good. I got a key, and here is the shop to my left right here. But I have no money, and it's not a good idea to uh take take a look into the shop on the first ground level and these are headless zombies really slow right now hopefully it speeds up in a little bit This is taking way longer than it should. Champion, whenever you see a green or red creature like I just had, oh, one plus one free bomb. Um, like a creature I just had. Let's see what this is. Doctor's remote. This is like a nuke that falls wherever you hit the space button at, space bar at. Um. Whichever creature you're at, there's certain levels of power, st like proficiency, all that kind of stuff. So uh, these these are the regular zombies. I've already encountered the headless zombie and the bodiless zombie. Um, yeah, most zombies turn into bo headless zombies after a couple of um, I'm cornered right here. Let's see if I can get out with only. Like I said earlier, blue, black, and red, those are called champions. There's different levels of champions, which is basically different power levels, speeds, um, damage are caused on you, range, all that good stuff. For Got that rock right there. Yep. Small rock has appeared in the basement. When you blow up a rock with a bomb, you get that achievement. Also, the only reason I blew that rock up right there is because it was a dark colored rock. You'd see, you'd, you can see the difference. The dark colored rock and the lighter colored rocks. The darker colored rocks are better. Because they usually drop a spirit heart. Blue hearts. Um, I'm not sure what these are actually called off the top of my head. But I call them car babies. They have flies inside of their head. 
So they'll either drop a live bomb, either drop a live bomb or flies like that. One plus one free bomb. Nice again. Ah, uh, the boss door is right up here to the left. Um, I didn't really get any good power ups. This first basement, all I got, well, I got a good power up, but nothing, no damage, no tears up, or range up either, so. But I got a doctor emote, and that deals a big, if it hits your boss or your opponent, deals a huge amount of damage. anything and another bomb I'm up to six bombs right now and Larry Jr. versus Isaac Isaac versus Larry Jr. okay the usual setup and I'll start off right away see if I can't get him to there you go come back come back yeah. took about three three-fourths of his life it's already down to half life. Also, one thing I should mention at the end of boss level, if Larry Jr. took a couple of dumps, be sure to destroy them. A couple of them should have coins, like I just destroyed them with the coin. They'll have coins or bombs or it rarely keys. I think I've gotten one time with a key. Or, unless it was like a rock I destroyed, but. Sometimes it'll drop. Drop an item. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, run into that, no? Okay. Yes, this is Larry Jr. There's 20 bosses in this game throughout. How many? There's two basements, uh, two chambers, a, a, two wombs. I think. Oh, there's another spirit heart. Two wombs. Um, few other levels that I'm not sure of right now on top of my head. I know for a fact that they had a special level called the shell, the shield, but like. I'm not sure if they have that right now or still. But here goes Larry Jr. Give me those hearts. Mom's heels. Okay, it just gives me farther range. And on to basement two. Little clip of his childhood right here. Oh, somebody's escorting on him. Escorting on him. That's nasty. Okay, on to basement two. Wake up, Isaac. Okay. So I'll go this way first. Okay, this guy. I have two coins. See if I can't get anything out of him. Screw you. I usually never give him, but, you know, sometimes you gotta take a chance. See, the black ones usually, alright, these jumpers right here, I call them jumpers, I'm really not sure what they're called. The black ones have increased health, <coughs> and they're pretty much a lot faster, or not a lot faster, but they're, 
they jump farther and they move faster than regular jumpers but usually the animals the creatures monsters that catch on fire usually burn and die that's an exception for these guys I'm not sure if any other monsters are like that but I know these guys are for sure wow <laughs> the fire burned me. And one plus one free bomb. Okay. And see what comes out of burning fire? A coin. Okay. Got some zombies right here. Okay, he's mad. Oh uh, no, I'm gonna get cornered right here. Strap up bomb. Go this way. Okay, so apparently, just blow, blow him up. He turns into a headless zombie. That's what happens, right? There are secret rooms. There are probably. Um, I know better to mess with you now. You know what? No. Oh my goodness. Alright, no more gambling this let's play. No more gambling. Flies. Oh, no. Alright. Look at this champion. Champion zombie. Not good. See if uh, got stuck on the rock. Are you serious? I'm um, down to half a half a heart. Just from stupid damage I've been taking lately, and this lag. This lag is pretty bad. We got a penny. I have the boss level way back there, but. Trying to clear out all the levels, see if I can't get an advantage of power up. And there's one of the bodiless zombies. They shoot you once they once they see you in a range of a distance, okay? So like once you get in a certain range of them, they'll shoot you. But once you're a certain distance away, they can't shoot you. See, like I'm too far away from right now. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me again. Really need to find a heart right now. Oh yeah, really need to find that heart. I'm gonna have to go into the. If I don't get a heart and I guess some extra cash, I'm gonna have to go and buy a heart from the shop. Really have to fix this lag after this let's play. Yep, there's full heart at least. Got two, about two, three, maybe two maybe three more floors left before I'm done with this basement oh, this is easy stuff hopefully I can if I can get a heart out of these guys no nope. easy stuff again Anything? Nope. Let's just throw this poop. See if I can get a health or some cash out. Nope. Nothing. <coughs> oh, 
are these double flies. You hit them four times, they bust into two more flies. Annoying to deal with, but they are definitely one of the easier mobs in this game. Okay, a key. That's nice, but I need a heart. Should I do it? Let's go see if I can. Oh, unicorn horn. If I had. Whoop. Oh, well. That was a waste of a key. I don't even know why I did that. So I'm going in to the boss round. Okay, I got my doctor's device. Hopefully I can get a solid hit with that. Um, one heart. And my dignity. That's pretty much what I have. Alright. Here we go, little bum. Give me some good. Here we go. What is this? The compass. Um. Okay. I don't know what. I have no clue what that did. Come on. Oh. Mr. Boom. I'm taking my doctor's remote back. Come on, health. Nope. Come on, health. Yep, there we go. Heart and a half. Better than nothing. Alright, let's go. Come on. Isaac versus the Duke of Flies. Alright, if I get a lucky, not a lucky, if I get a decent hit with the Doctor's Remote, I should hit him. Oh, right out the gate, got hit. Uh, if I hit him with the Doctor's Remote, get a good hit on him with the Doctor's Remote, then I should be set. Oh, back this way, back this way. Oh, wow. Oh, no. This is not going to be the end of Let's Play 1. Alright. Down part of this for me is he spawns in so many flies at once. Oh my gosh, and there's the end of Let's Play 1. Dear Diary, today I died. I was killed by this thing in some basement. It's a fly. I'm a bum. I suck. I leave all that I own to my cat Guppy. Cool stuff. Goodbye, cruel world. Hugs, kisses, hugs, kisses. I love Isaac. Okay, replay or back to menu. Well, that's the end of Let's Play 1, guys. Please like and subscribe. And I'm just going to post this, even though this was a, not such a good Let's Play. Hopefully, I'll have better ones in the future. But I'm just going to see what kind of feedback I get. Change and get better. So, please like and subscribe, guys. And I'll see you guys later.